Yeah, to jump it off in the classroom, man. Yeah. So uh, I jumped up, and this, by this time, they had switched seats. I'm like, God damn, chillers with me on. Uh, Luke was behind me, and then the little chick was, little nappy head, ugly girl standing behind me. Sitting behind me, you know. They had switched seats. So I guess when Luke tried to get the sack lunch, it didn't work. They almost got caught. They switched seats, and the girl stuck her hand back there and grabbed. I said, say, man, give me my lunch, man. Give me my lunch. My lunch was just in my desk where my lunch is. So I went down every every room, every row, looking at, looking at everybody, under everybody's desk, looking at everybody. And by the time I got to the end of the row, it was the window right there. <laughs> So, man, something just told me, look out the window. I looked out the window and I seen my sack lunch down there on the ground. Now, we about like a story up. I'm on, we on the second floor. Then I took my lunch and threw it out the goddamn window. I seen my lunch down on the ground. Don't look like it had everything in it. Didn't look like it had nothing but the orange or the apple left in that motherfucker. Yeah. So the teacher told me to sit down. Now, somebody just stole my lunch from under this desk. Somebody finna give me my lunch back. And then the girl jumped up in the front of the room. She said, nigga, ain't nobody took your lunch. Then another little boy, I, I think his name was Billy or something. Billy, Billy, Billy something, I forgot his name. Billy something, big lip ass nigga. He said, man, ain't nobody took your lunch. And I took out. In the classroom, the teacher jumped. What, God damn it. Boom. Now, come on now, my mama just got me back in school. Yeah. You dig know what I'm saying? Mr. Peterson took me in. Yeah. I not already stabbed him, man. I not already put that for a whole year. Now here I'm back in school, in the in the classroom, and then took off. And it again. But it seemed like it. But nigga still in my lunch. What am I supposed to do? God damn. Don't tell it. The lunch got they ain't, ain't like they're gonna let me go stand in the lunch line. Yeah. No shit, y'all, you know, this is for y'all time. Back in the days, you know, way back, you know, sound like the cake, we had lunch cards. <laughs> It was a thing that's called a lunch card. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And niggas fucked over that game so much. You know what I'm saying? Niggas gonna eat anyway. Niggas would go through and steal all the food before niggas even sell it off the goddamn line. <laughs> yeah, I seen a nigga take his bag through there and stick his hand in there and was taking all the, the, the lunches. I was like, goddamn, sticking them in his bag. Oh, goddamn, that nigga stole all the sandwiches out the, um, the venue thing. Yeah. Before the lady got there. Shit like that. That was my nigga Greg Campbell. Shout out to Greg Campbell, man. My nigga. <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, man, the new school would be, I said, no, fuck this school. That was, that was in the classroom. Now, I ain't got my ass whooped in the motherfucking locker room for not dressing up. I ain't got my ass whooped in the hallway for the lockout. Now I ain't had to go in the goddamn classroom and fight a motherfucker. Right. You dig what I'm saying? And here I am at motherfucking school one day at lunch. And I'm just standing there looking, you know, enjoying lunch. Looking around like everybody else, you know, checking out. It was my first time walking on a track. So I said, I'm going to go down there and walk on a track. It's a real track down there. I ain't never been on a real track. Yeah. So I went down there and got on the track. You know. Uh, and I was standing on the lunch. I was standing out there for recess, man. And out of no motherfucking world. Yeah. No motherfucking world. I'm standing there and boom. God damn it. Somebody hit me in the neck with a motherfucking rock. Ooh. A big ass rock, man. It hit me so hard right here. A big old frog came up and it left a big old blood clot at the end of my motherfucking neck. I'm like, what the fuck? And I turn around. It's a thousand people at lunch. You don't know where that rock came from. I couldn't even. I ain't seen nobody laughing. I ain't seen nobody giving up the game. But out of nowhere, I seen these two bitches, Rona and Nona, the Rat Twins. Shout out to the Rat Twins. Rona and Nona. Shout out to the twins, Rona and Nona, man. Yeah. <laughs> they, now, Rona was, one of them was big and one of them was little. You understand me? And I never forget, they were laughing like one of them threw the rock. I'm like, what? And, and they was gangsters. We used to call them the rat twins. Yeah. Cool. They cool, cool. I love y'all. I love y'all two sisters. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. But y'all know back in the day, we call y'all the rat twins, two sisters. And uh, they were laughing. Guess what? I walked up there. I said, man, which one y'all hit me in the neck with that rock? And, and I ain't even lie. There was some tough little motherfucking girls. Yeah. And then you better get your ass with the little short, the little, the little, the little fat one say. She wore glasses. She had some bifocals on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if that was wrong or known. But she said, you better get your ass from over here, nigga. And I said, what? And they hit me in the neck with this rock? Y'all think I'm playing? And I took off on the fat one. Oh, nah. Pop, pop, nigga. I don't get, say, fuck that. 
Fuck that nigga. Boy, this dumb boy. This school. Everybody fight the same. In these days and times, sixth grade, say it wasn't no tough nigga, tough girl. A, a girl whoop your motherfucking ass, nigga. Yeah. Nigga, what? Shit. Nigga, you in the sixth grade. You ain't number 12. But y'all, back then, y'all don't know. Um, Coming up at 12, back then, it wasn't no weak girl. Was, them girls fight you like you one of them. They'll fight you like you one of them. It ain't like you you a boy and you the tough one. Right. Fuck that. Wasn't no such thing as that shit coming up. He boy, he a boy, he a tough one. Now, nah. yeah. nigga, them girls fight you. Nigga, them girls beat your mother. Shout out to my homegirl, LaShawn Marble. I think she passed away, man. R.I.P. to LaShawn Marble, man. Yeah. That's the first girl I had to fight like a nigga. Say, she'll fight a nigga, she, and she was a bully chick. You ain't never ran up on a bully chick that'll run with bully boys. LaShawn was the one that'll bully a nigga. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, LaShawn Marble, man. I think R.I.P. to LaShawn Marble, man. Yeah, she was square fucking business coming up. And the Rat Twins was too, Rona and Nona. Yeah. They would fight niggas, and then all of a sudden, I think one of the twins got fine. But she still looked like, you know, she had that look on her face. You understand? She was good people. Uh. And I fought the Rat Twins that day. <laughs> Say, man, I knew Dumbo Rat right then. This school ain't to be fucked with, man. Yeah. Fuck this school. I don't think you better do this motherfucker. <laughs> Go in this bitch, try to learn you something, nigga. And move on to the next grade. Yeah. And guess what? That's what I did. I set my motherfucking ass down. And I said, because guess what? They billing. I don't got to. This is the six. I can't go to this motherfucker. It's like, I can't go to this motherfucker another year. Hell no. Nah. I can't do another six and seven and eight grade in this motherfucker, man. Hell no. Nah. I can't do it. I can't do it. But it was so happened. Nigga, they billing a seven and eight grade center over here at school. Right on Star Cut. In, in rain, yo. I was like, what? They finna build a new school for the seven and eight like, Yes! <laughs> All I gotta do is get out this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me get my shit together. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, watch this, man. Say, I'm finna get up out this hole. Yeah. I'm finna get up out this motherfucker. I'm gonna gra- I'm say, I know one thing. If I gonna learn me something, just enough to pass on, I get to leave. I ain't gotta fuck with Mr. Peters and all these motherfucking bullshit. I'm going to the seventh and eighth grade, the new school. Yeah. I graduated. Bam! I'm out. Percy goes to the seventh grade. It's going down. Yeah. <laughs> All D's, nigga. And C's, nigga. I made it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had A, B, D's, and C's then. Yeah. All D's and C's, nigga. But well, guess what? I'm on my way to the new school. The new school jump out. Me and Sunshine. Charles Washington. Oh, me and my partner. Back then, now it's time to get a little flyer. You know, you're in the seventh grade. You do so you finna be with the eighth grade girls. You know what I'm saying? No. You, you, your clothes gonna start mattering then. You do know what I'm saying? A little, a little dressy. Not not too much. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But you gotta keep up because these niggas starting to come out with shit like capers, you know, and shit like that, and all stars and, and boats and co and not co homes, but penny loafers. And niggas taking they, they they pennies out and putting the dimes in them and shit. You know, I couldn't afford that shit. We had to go to pay less and get the you know, the coasters, nigga. Yeah. You get nine colors, nigga, for nine dollars. Yeah. That type of shit. You better not uh, uh, stumble wrong. You're going to tear the whole bottom heel off the motherfuckers. Yeah, them hoes tear up in a heartbeat. But the niggas with the real leather shit, you knew they shit. Yeah. But anyway, here comes the, here it is, man. Seventh grade, I'm here. The new school, dumb boy. First nigga I see on campus, my partner, Charles Washington. Sunshine. What's up, baby? God damn me. Oh, we kicking it. We, I met the nigga Luke Spriggs and, and, and all my, Roy Lee Simpson. Roy Lee, big Roy Lee. Roy Lee was built like a motherfucking. Yeah, my nigga Howard Sauce. What's up, Howard T? My nigga Howard T. Sauce. And I met two of my best friends. I met Tracy, Tracy Brown and, and Tim Brown. Yeah. My nigga, we used to turn flips on the thing. And my number one flipper was Michael Harrison and Ed, man. Ed and Mike, man. We used to turn flips at Dumbo. We was, you know, you had to start, you know, when you went to school and you found out you could do something and become somebody. Shit, I found out one thing. I could turn flips. I was a tumbler. We learned how to flip in my neighborhood. And when I seen niggas doing flips, I went out and did my little, and they said, oh, he cold. And, you know, you know, you know to turn flips, you got to get in with the, with the good people. And the popular niggas was turning flips. Right. And so when I ended up turning my first flip, it seemed like I was somebody, because guess what? As now, like... Anything that I do, I try to master and become cold at it. Right. I was cold at flipping. You couldn't take, you couldn't take. I fuck around and get a diamond, a backward flip on, on film one day. Just, just to show y'all, you know, I probably can't do, I can't do all the extra shit I used to do. But anybody tell you, can nobody have flip person? 
That they either for you, Tim Brown, Tracy Brown, yeah, Michael Harrison, R.I.P. to Mike. Ed, I don't know if you still lie, Ed, but we was the top knot. Even goddamn my nigga um Sherman, man. Shout out to Sherman. Eh, 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 eh. Sherman, big Sherman. Sherman, you can flip your ass out too. Sherman and Shunnery. Yeah, yeah Shunnery and McGee. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Me, we were flippers. And we just went to Dumbo, I ran to my first little old piece of love, Nikki Randalls. That was my baby. You understand me? She uh, started talking to one of my partners, Willie O'Dear. You understand me? He was a quarterback football player. Uh, Dumbo was jumping out. Sunshine was there. School is looking good. I just started turning fifth. I ain't got popular. I ain't got to be bad. I ain't got to be so bad now. And guess what thing is I can do? Right. Nigga, I can. Pop lock. I can pop. I can lock. Motherfucker, I'm going, I'm joining the talent show. Me and Curtis Jones. Me and Curtis Jones say we're gonna jump on this motherfucker. We're gonna jump on the, we're gonna jump on the talent show. And we did that. Came in and won it. Came in and won his first talent show, seventh grade at Dumbo.